Oh, God, look at me. Rookies, novices, are recruited as seniors. Moreover, as CTO. And what about me? I'm looking for a receptionist. They say that the first to come through the door will see her. They say she's the first face of the company, so it's very important. And you. They sent you to me. They say you will benefit from my experience. The one who has the capacity already. But Miss Lynn. You all have an infinite self-confidence. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh. Don't get defensive now. Hello, I'm here for an interview. Yes, this way, please. Here comes another one. I think you have my CV. CV? Why? Didn't you fill out the form when you entered? I was not given anything at the entrance. I have a copy of my CV with me. Shall I give it? Did you come by jumping the wall or by digging a tunnel? Sorry, I didn't really understand. Miss Lynn. Do not interfere. Of course you're ignoring. Have you ever seen a phone? A phone? Yes, phone. Telephone, the tool that civilized people use to communicate. What would you say if you got a phone call? Will you be able to understand? Let's say you understand. I don't think you can read or write. I think there is a misunderstanding. No, there is no misunderstanding. You can't even take notes. Even if you do, who knows what language you will write in. And on top of everything, we will try to understand that. Writing? I say writing, writing. You. Whichever country you come from, I don't know. Have you ever seen a computer? Ma'am, you're being too much. No, I'm just getting started. They overestimated you. You have an inflated self-esteem. That's the general manager's job. This nonsense about global values, innovation, sustainability, diversity. It seems like it is done with cleaning work and now it's time for office work. We will also need a guard here so that she will not be able to steal. Please, this is just too much. Know your place. Actually, you, you know your place. Oh, she's trying to show me my place. Who are you? Human, Miss Selin, human. The important thing is whether she's willing to do this job. Other than business life, doesn't it take that to be human? <laughs> Look here. We have Nelson Mandela in our office, and we didn't know that. Because of people like them. Do you realize how many young people are unemployed? Huh, they're running away from their own country. They're living for free. On top of that, they are stealing our job. Huh. I can't believe this anger of yours is terrible. This is racism. Hush, hush, shameless. You don't understand my words either. They call us racist when we tell the truth. You have no place in this country. Get out. You're fired. I don't think I would ever work with someone like you. Get out. Go away. If they leave room for you, maybe you can find another job. I was even merciful. Are we therapists? You silly. But this company is wrong. If you treat everyone like a human, you will get a bad reputation. When they come to do job interviews like this, they make a fuss. Look at the two-week training she tries to teach us wisdom. What a time to live. Lady, I'm very sorry on my part. It's not your fault. Yeah, but I'm embarrassed for her. Because of me. I think she attacked you too. It will make your life even harder. She already fired me. Don't worry. 
I don't want to work with someone like that anyway. But if you need work, I mean, actually, the company is very good. We can arrange a meeting for you. After all, I can't think of anyone better than you for the front desk job. Front desk? Yes. Despite the mistreatment you have experienced inside, which is not acceptable at all, you kept your composure. You treated me so well. I think to welcome the people, there is no one better than you. What about you? You also lost your job. Well, I'm an intern anyway. But you need work. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Just because you need it. I mean, in case you meet people like this every day. That's why. I didn't get it wrong. You obviously have good intentions. Thank you very much. Well, nobody knows I've been fired yet. So I'll set up a meeting for you. Wait here, okay? Okay, I am waiting. Oh, she's gone. Sorry, did you see the lady standing here who came to the meeting? No, I didn't see. I've already come to pick you up. The general manager is calling. General manager? Why? I don't know. Come on. So, you reported me. No, no, I... What are you doing in the general manager's office? I'm sorry, sir. How did she get in here? Everything has gone completely off the rails at this company. Yes, you are right. Something has gone off the rails at the company. That's what I'm saying. Good discipline is needed. But these young people are shameless. I'm taking care of it now. No need. I did it. We talked with Miss Rana. She starts her job at our company as our new CTO. I don't get it. She had come to interview for the CTO position. She entered your room by mistake, a very valuable software developer. And in many companies, she has worked as a senior manager. We are very happy that she has agreed to work with us. Sorry, I thought it was an application for the reception. What difference does it make? She could have applied for that position as well. This is so wrong what you're doing. I've heard different complaints about you before, but this is too much. Inhumane. You can't judge people by their clothes, their looks, even scarier, by their race. All ties with you have been cut from now on. You can't do this! Of course I can. I also want you to know that you will not be able to get any reference letters from me. You are not eligible to work as a senior manager in any company. Thank you very much too. You told the truth and you defended her at the cost of being fired. And for me, for someone she doesn't know, just as human, strive to do something good without her pure goodwill. I would leave this company with very bad impressions and no one could persuade me to meet with you. Thank you. Actually, we thank you. You can start work in our company whenever you want. Really? Now? I look forward to working with you. You can leave. <laughs>